Hello and welcome to another episode of Historic Hindsight. I'm John, that's Tom, and today we're going to talk about Captain Kirk! That's right, Johnny, Captain Kirk, as if Kirk was a Union soldier fighting against the dirty, dirty KKK, because that's I, we're I don't actually think talking. Captain Kirk, no, this, that, he's from Star Trek, Tommy. Yeah, yeah, Captain Kirk is from Star Trek, but, uh, but the Captain Kirk that we're talking about is actually the part of the Kirk Holden War uh, when, uh, when the, the state of North Carolina went to war against the KKK shortly after Wait. the Civil War. And the end result so, is uh, the governor. A state, hold on, a state went to war against uh, the KKK. Just the KKK organization. Yes, yes. Didn't we. Did we did win a KKK... war five yeah, years we... before that point? Yeah, we sure did, Johnny. Yeah, okay. see, uh, yeah, the you lost, get over it. They lost, yeah. they should have gotten over it, they but they didn't get, get over it. it. So they formed the KKK okay. and started terrorizing the entire mm -hmm. South. And this is right. one of many states that had an issue with it uh, during Reconstruction. The end result, spoiler alert, is that the governor is going to be uh, is going to be forced out of office. And not for the reasons that you think. Oh, God. So... Yeah, so we'll, All right, we'll, so we'll, North yeah, Carolina, North 18, Carolina, 70, 60, uh, seventy, sixty. You said the war, five years, yeah, yeah, seventy. Yeah, the, the war starts in eighteen seventy, but the issues start a little bit before then, obviously. So right, we'll, yeah, yeah. There's always a build up to uh, to, to any sort of conflict. Uh, so, this one had been going on for at least five years. <laughs> yeah, so we'll jump into it. So immediately after the end of the Civil War, or at least the end of the substantial fighting in eighteen sixty five. Uh, believe it or not, there was a huge group of people that weren't so happy uh, about the uh, the freedmen, you know, the freed African Americans that, that are now running around having the right to vote, having the right to mm -hmm. own land, and not being property anymore, and not now, being able to be told what what to do. The people that were upset about this I, was that the people who uh, used to own these I, newly defined people. And I think, uh, yeah, I think you, and then or at least feel them. above them and be able to see them a second, and now they can't. Yep. Yep. It's, they're the same, just people. Just and people. They're mad. They're, they're uh, mad. Okay. Yep. So, so this would lead to the uh, terrorist group, the KKK, being formed, which basically, right in 1865, it starts to to develop, and over the next several years, it spreads across like wildfire throughout the entire South mm -hmm. and even up into the North, uh, where. But um, the KKK itself didn't exist during the Civil War. It was a no. That was, just, that was just yeah. That the was Civil just War. that was just called the Confederates. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they exist during the Civil War. This is a fallout from the Civil War. It's a fallout from Reconstruction. Uh, so in 1865, okay. a William H. Holden is going to be selected to be the interim governor of North Carolina once that state is brought back into the Union. Uh, and he's going, to be, uh, he's going to be granted that position by President Andrew Johnson. Johnson liked Holden because through the war, Holden was very outspoken against the Southern government and formed a secret society dedicated to the Union. Uh, now, oh. with that said... I have to point out that his early political career, he was very much expansion of slavery. He was very much pro-secession. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, you know, he doesn't get a complete get-out-of-jail-free card. But by well, 18... But he, but he had learned and grown as a person, which mm -hmm. is all you can ask, uh, ask for at this point. For you humanity, know, yeah. He was taught, he grew up a certain way, but then he realized, oh, maybe I was wrong. And he changed. And that's okay to do, everybody. You can do that. You can yep. assess a situation and change your mind based on the facts that you're given. Yeah, that's completely that's okay. and totally fine. So, uh, so by 1860, he's had a change of heart. He believes that uh, it, the Union should stay intact. Uh, he believes mm -hmm. that the secession is against the law, and he believes that uh, the Confederate government has no business ever being formed. So even before the secession happens, he's speaking out against it, saying, no, 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 no. Yeah. we can't, we can't, <laughs> we can't, do that. No, don't do that, <laughs> probably, probably shouldn't, probably shouldn't do that. Uh, so he was also, a, you know, had a newspaper, and by 1860, his political ideas, strictly pro-North, didn't really side along with a lot of the uh, Democratic viewpoints in the South, those mm -hmm. conservative viewpoints in the South that, that wanted things to stay the way they were and, you know, keep slavery sure. and expand it. So his uh, his newspaper was destroyed for being a dirty, dirty Yankee newspaper, oh, and he what? was pretty much ostracized wait, wait, wait. at that point. When? In was this after? No, this is oh, no, this is before during this is before the war. The okay, yeah. so this is exactly what uh, Lincoln did to the Southern sympathizers. Just switched. And yeah, so yeah, he, yeah. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. That's, um, that's fantastic. Just nah, screw everybody's First Amendment. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, Holden is going to lose his special election in 1865, uh, though, six months after serving, um, uh, losing it to a Democrat, uh, of course, because, you know, 
Most most when, most once North you Carolina let them elect still, somebody, there yeah, yeah they're going to elect somebody yeah. that aligns with their viewpoints. Yeah, most North Carolina is still there. Uh, however, Holden is going to um, he's going to fight back. He's going to gain political favor. He's going to start the, building the Republican Party in North Carolina, and actually would wind up running in 19, uh, 1868 and wind up getting elected in eighteen sixty eight. Oh. So like kind a whole big old grassroots campaign, like he was, and getting... a lot of ex-slaves voting for him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm that sure helps. helped out quite, uh, yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. yeah, it turns out when you, uh, you know, allow every all of your people to be represented, your representation might change. change which I bit. wonder yep. if that's why they were upset. It might, it might might be that they lost oh. this election, might be oh. why. But in this interim, the KKK is formed. Uh, when Holden takes office, he's actually going to be outraged and embarrassed by the state's lack of action in removing the KKK. Because uh, you see, they're not a peaceful group. Uh, not that they are today, no. but they're definitely not back then. No, I mean, the, all the images you have associated with the KKK from back in the day are crosses burning and people being dragged behind, you know, horse-drawn carriages and, and shit like that. Yeah, that's, that. yeah, that's, 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 yeah. That's, and lynchings, yeah. all the, I, yeah, that's, I that's, almost that's, forgot about the lynchings. Yeah, the lynchings, yeah, yeah all the lynchings. Couple of those. Do. Couple of those, they're going to keep doing those. Um, they started out by just destroying property of freemen and Republicans and anybody who basically said that, you know, brown people should be treated like white people, right. or at least, you know, given the right to vote, uh, mm -hmm. and, you know, and not be in, held in slavery. Anybody who had those viewpoints that were against they should be slaves, uh, were very much targeted by the KKK, and they would start by just destroying property. It's like a fear campaign, right, that fear, they're trying yeah, to do? Like, they're fear-mongering, fear trying to get, hey, if the good way to get somebody to not vote is burn their house down and be like, if you if you vote, right. I'm going to, you know. It's going to get worse, yeah. It's going to get worse. Uh, so, so that's what they started out as, and there wasn't a lot of action being done against the KKK. I mean, the local police knew what was going on. They really. I mean, I'm look guessing at. they were hooding up. The the <laughs> that's 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 I mean. the so the uh, the local authorities either uh, uh, <laughs> were sympathetic to the KKK's plight, uh, or they were members themselves, or they mm -hmm. were they, they were terrified themselves to go against them because well right psh, yeah when you're in a burned down. yeah you're in a situation where your law enforcement you know seventy five percent of your fellow law enforcement guys are turning their eyes and and uh maybe being a part of it you're gonna keep your mouth shut or lose your job and then maybe your life or your house or your whatever yeah because so, uh the lack of okay. the lack of them ever getting in trouble emboldened them to straight up lynching uh, uh people who mm -hmm. were yep. outspoken against them yep you can expect that was yeah, because happen. there's no consequences right i'm sure nobody was mm -hmm. drawn up and arrested for the lynchings it's just like oh well uh Oops. What are going to do? Uh, things were particularly bad in the Piedmont counties of Alamance and Caswell, where 15 lynchings were attributed to the KKK in 1869 alone. So in, in one year, in two counties, 15 people were lynched. Jesus. And like just and and this isn't like oh we lynched you and we hid the body or no no this is like no just we're public lynching you in town yeah in the tree, like in yeah, no but this is like in town square like, like drag, okay, drag so your body to the middle of town and lynch you up. So kind of like Wild Wild West style death penalty where they bring them to the gallows, only they don't have gallows. But yeah, and there's they're no, getting crowds there's, and it's a whole display. And, and, it's, and, their, uh, and their crime is that they're brown and they tried to vote. <laughs> right, like that's the right. There, yes, right, right. I'm just, I'm just p the picture, the mental picture yes, that I'm yeah, trying yeah. to paint and, and, and figure out. That's, Jesus. I knew, because I knew about all, you know, they'd put them in trees on like main roads and stuff and, 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 and have the lynchings there, but... Town center, town center, just right. No right in the consequences. Center. It's gonna get it's gonna get worse. So buckle up, everybody. Home by 1870, there were six to seven hundred KKK members in those counties alone. Uh, in 1869, Holden would actually or Holden was actually plead to uh, the General Assembly to increase the power of the executive branch to suspend habeas corpus. You know, give him the power to blanketly arrest anybody that he might suspect of of being a KKK member without trial yeah. or charges or any expectation that they would ever be sure. released. Right, so a witch hunt. A witch hunt. Uh, but, you know, they're terrorists, so eh, it's mm. like, you know, uh, we kind of did right, this. Right, you know, sometimes We kind of took the same it's approach. Okay. Look what Lincoln did, you know? Yeah, uh... well, I, I was going more like, look what Bush did in, in 2002. Oh, right, but yeah, oh, okay. yeah, that was... Yeah, we did, yeah, that, yeah, did, that did, did go well, did, though. We did, did the same thing. Uh, 
<laughs> he would actually, believe it or not, get this law sort of passed called the Schaefer Act, which would be passed in 1870. But his powers, rightfully so, were limited to exactly what could be done, including, yeah, the whole suspension of habeas corpus wasn't wasn't granted to him. Um, right, yeah, you can But it, it was granted in that they basically looked at the KKK as a, as a terrorist organization and allowed the okay. governor to go after them uh, with the appropriate legal force, not using militias, but like, you know, using local authorities. The but, hope here... Hey, arrest yourself. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> <laughs> the hope here is that this was supposed to be a fear tactic against the KKK uh, because like, hey, look, we now have a law that's basically specifically written to go yeah. after you. Uh, but and what, they just laughed at it, I'm sure. Yeah, the KKK instead were emboldened by this as a fuck around and find out kind of mentality. And by fuck around and find out, what they actually did is they started going after Schaefer and attempted to assassinate him, the guy who wrote the bill and his oh, name shit. is on the bill. Uh, they attempted to assassinate him. He barely escaped multiple times. After the second time uh, he feared for his life and his family's life so he said the hell with this we're out of here and they fled off to indiana shocking Not, that a bunch of jackasses yeah. that lost a war couldn't uh, successfully carry out a assassination well you might want to hold your tongue on that one this time they, they, oh, yeah, this they time this Damn this person no no well this person <laughs> oh. he doesn't <laughs> but what it does is like mission accomplished the kkk through fear tactics got a mm -hmm. elected official an elected official yeah. he's a congressman to leave the state that's so wild. mission, yeah, mission accomplished. They did exactly what they yeah, wanted. Yeah, that's, they got that's all they're, yeah, they're just running around <laughs> being assholes and you get in their way, they're going to make it bad on you. Like, and he's just powerless to do anything. Yeah, the governor's powerless to do anything. Uh, this actually emboldens him even more. And <laughs> this is where it gets bad. It's a bug a lot. The KKK is going to go on to kill a Wyatt Outlaw, that's his name, is Outlaw, Wyatt Outlaw, uh, who was a freeman who was operating as a count, town constable and a commissioner of Graham, North Carolina. So, okay. an African American so, who is a constable, which is actually kind of like I... What's that's, that? Do... Uh, police officer. Uh, oh, okay. All right, all right. Oh, uh, yeah, constable? Is, yeah, yeah, it's a, which it. is... I mean, that's... He's a brown man as a cop. I mean, well done. That's, yeah, in 1870. This is pretty. Like, we're like, all right, uh, way to climb up the chain there. Uh, and he's also acting as a town commissioner. So this is a guy who's like, you know, a prominent member of the, of the town of Graham. He's going to be murdered on yeah. He's going to be murdered on February yeah yeah yeah. He's going to be murdered on February twenty six, eighteen seventy. After it was rumored that he took shots at Klansmen that were terrorizing the town a few months back. So, in eighteen sixty nine, Klan comes in. They terrorize a the Klan. <laughs> Him and several other constables are allegedly shot at the Klansmen, who then fled promptly, and uh, they didn't like being shot at by a brown cop. Mm. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, right. So they so kill. they go. Jesus. They go to kill him. Seventy Klansmen are going to break into his house, drag him out to the town square 70? And 70 and lynch him on the town square this is a cop imagine just going and you know picking any cop today in any city and fucking murdering them in the middle of the street and then like everybody being like Meh, because that's what happens nothing happens Shit. not a single arrest is made not a single charge is brought against anybody they're just they're like Meh. there is a mentally handicapped african-american who says like i saw x x y and z do this they did it uh -huh. they're the they're the murderers go get them to the to the local the other constables that are left alive right and uh, and he is repaid this poor mentally handicapped guy who may or may not have even seen anything gets repaid by getting lynched himself so snitches get lynchings i guess snitches get lynchings yeah and so i mean at this point the police have to be heavily involved and in support of the kkk yeah there's well, no other way to look around it they killed one of yours and you don't Nothing, give a shit. Y you don't do anything about it. Yep. Just yep, because yep, it's yep. a black man. And, yeah. and it, as a matter of fact, you, you you take a witness and you you go ahead and off him too. So that too. way, yeah, nobody nobody says anything. Yep. Uh, this isn't going to be the only high profile murder. There's also going to be a murder of a John W. Stevens, who was a former Confederate turned Republican senator uh, for the state of North Carolina. So this is a guy who fought for the Confederacy during the war. Uh, after the uh -huh. war is over, he's going to uh, you know he's going to turn. He's going to hey, I'm a Republican now, and he's going to run for office. He's going to get elected as a congressman. Uh, and uh, and he's going to be treated to this whole uh, change of heart by getting murdered on May twenty first, eighteen seventy. A congressman, because I, I'm sure they senator. saw him as yeah, a state traitor, senator, right? Is yeah. that 
Uh, like, so, so John Stevens was actually operating. The traitors. As, he, yeah. he, he's a traitor of the traitors. That he's a traitor of the traitors of the traitors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, he's operating as an informant for Governor Holden. Uh, and uh, when the Klan finds out about this, they sentence him to death, and of course, claim that they gave him a fair trial, which is a hilarious fact that you think that the, this cl- is the Klan. Yeah, the Klan. The Klan I'm sorry. The, the Klan sentenced somebody. A a a made up. Yeah organization mm-hmm. old boys club sentenced somebody yep. and then carried it out and that's fine that's fine that's, we're fine totally, with that totally okay uh <laughs> so he's gonna be murdered on may 21st 1870 uh his death is gonna come when he's gonna meet with a frank wiley who was the uh who was trying to he was trying to get frank to run for sheriff as a republican in the county against the current seated sheriff okay Riley agreed to meet with him, but it was all a ruse to get uh, to get Stevens to follow Wiley down to the first floor of the courthouse, the courthouse where he is met by a group of KKK members who garrot him and then stab him to death in the first garot. floor. I'm sorry, garrot. Uh, that's j- j- strangle yeah. with a cord. Oh yeah, yeah. the garrot wire. Yeah, that's the garrot. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. they uh, they they strangle him and stab him multiple times and kill him on the first floor of the courthouse in the courthouse. They murder this guy. No charges are brought to anybody. Uh, and it's not surprising because the sheriff, the current seated sheriff, is actually going to be found out to one be of, a member of the KKK and probably mm-hmm. one of the ones that did this. So Yeah, or at least set it up and had it. Or, yeah. I mean, I'm sure, he, guessing, um, perhaps he was smart enough to not actually be a part of the mob. But when nothing's ever happening to you, what the fuck does he care? Yeah, what's the point? Well, that's exactly it. Holden is going to appear to to President Ulysses S. Grant for assistance, uh, but he's not going to be granted mm-hmm. what he wants. Uh, he wants the complete suspension of habeas corpus and to use military. I mean, at this point, yeah. What, I'm at not, this point, well, what? yeah. I'm, not, I'm sorry. Not what the, the f- not the habeas corpus part, but yeah, the military force to go after any means necessary and to get these guys extradited to another state. Preferably in the north, where they yeah, could get they an can actual, be tried there. yeah, an yeah. actual fair trial as opposed to this bullshit that they'd have here in uh, North Carolina. Uh, yeah, Grant's not going to grant him any of that. So, uh, so Holden's just going to kind of do it himself. <laughs> I mean, he's in a state of war. He's in crisis. Like what? Well, he's got to do what he's got to do. This way. he's probably fearing for his life. And that's exactly what he does. He declares martial law on Alamance and Caswell counties by declaring that they were counties in, in insurrection. So basically, Civil I War mean, 2.0. Which I mean, yes, clearly. they 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 very clearly are. I I have no problem with that. Uh, he's also going to suspend habeas corpus in those counties, which he did not have the legal authority to do. Uh, this is going to lead but him. You know what? The KKK didn't have the legal authority to do with this shit. They did. They, they still should... did it. They sure did, and they sure so. they sure did. Uh, yeah, I get you. He's gonna lead. Uh, he's gonna have to pick somebody to lead this great army, Johnny. And this is where his other choice oh, of, of of personnel might not be the best. He's gonna pick George Washington Kirk, Captain Kirk. Uh, he, he's actually he, he, on, based he's on actually his name, general. right? I'm sure. Just, completely. Ju- I mean, he's like George Washington. Oh, oh, the George Washington? No, not him. But oh, close enough, though, right? Let, let's do him. I really love when anybody's name is George and their middle name is Washington. That just drives me fucking holy. Like, I wish I would have named my kid George Washington. It's the stupidest. Oh, it's oh, awful. I love it. Yeah. I, it's great. Anyways, George but, Washington. You know, Kirk. It, it, it's no different than it's just people naming their kids after celebrities. They're, yeah. They're still doing that, that shit. Uh, so George Washington Kirk was a former Confederate officer who actually defected to the North during the war and earned a reputation oh. as being, well, particularly brutal against uh, all of his foes that he came upon uh, his former his former Who, colleagues in arms his former. yeah so he, somebody uh, somebody banged this dude's wife there was definitely some uh, accusations of murder and torture of prisoners during the war so this is the guy you're gonna pick to after. go after the KKK which I'm like look gusto okay. you know but, hey <laughs> they're terrorists you know what so you know Imagine how pissed off uh, uh, he must – Holden? Yeah, mm-hmm. Holden must have been. And how scared. Point. He wants somebody to strike fear into, like do the same thing. And what better yeah. than somebody who used to be on your side, defected, and is now known for torturing and uh, murdering and uh, be, just be mad just be at mad. all of the just South. Be, yeah, just yeah. angry. <laughs> just just, just – <laughs> 
genuinely <laughs> angry guy. So they are going to raise a militia of, of, of around 670 men. They're going to obviously have to pick from counties that aren't uh, Almance and Coswell because you're likely going to draw from people who are uh, uh, yeah, the you're people getting, you try to fight. Yeah, yeah you're, you're going to get a bunch of rats. So nothing, this entire, nothing yeah, but rats. This entire militia is comprised of the western counties of North Carolina that were very heavily Republican counties. Uh, the war is officially going to begin uh, in 1870 in Yanceyville, uh, where uh, Stevens, uh, Stevens was murdered. So, uh, so we're going to go take it to the heart of probably the most egregious murder yeah. in North Carolina at that point. I mean, come on. You're, you're murdering I'm, a congressman in that's the courthouse. Like, wild. That's, that's ballsy. Wild. So they're going to start there. Kirk is going to lead uh, 300 men into the city in early July of 1870. Kirk was given a list of names by Holden of people to arrest. Uh, this list was comprised of re by Republican politicians. So I'm sure there's a 0% chance that any of the names on that list were innocent and not just, you know, competitors to these Republicans' positions. But, you know, no. whatever. No, no. I, I trust that these politicians have... Uh, justice, justice at the top empathy. of their game and uh, mind here. Yep. Yeah, so, so Kirk begins arresting people in droves, according to this, uh, you know, list of names that he has, and these are respected members of the community. I mean, sure. Yeah. Of, of yeah. Uh, of, <laughs> respect, of the, but whose respect do they have? Yeah, Dude, right. Can you really count that towards anything positive at yeah. that point? Like, so these uh, these respected Hitler members, was also very well respected. respected. Yeah. So these respected members of the community included ex Congressman John Kerr, uh, lawyers Jacob Long and James Boyd, Captain Joseph Mitchell, and the sheriff Jesse Griffith, who actually was, you know, a member of the KKK. So yeah, at least that one was the at least that one was an appropriate arrest. Yeah, well, I'm guessing the other ones. Probably were too. Probably uh, were. All in I all, mean, your chances are good anyway. All in all, 100 men are going to be arrested. Uh, during these arrests, rumors flooded that Kirk was uh, torturing some of these men. And, of course, the Southern newspapers that were sympathetic towards uh, the KKK ran with that, saying, like, this fucking guy who tortured us during the war is torturing us again. <laughs> Which and, and I everybody mean, in the everybody in the North reading that being like, oh, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Good. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> like, like, I mean, what, who cares? I'm, I'm not a betting man, but I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb He's, and say, yeah, he definitely was. Oh, no. Oh, no. All of these men who have been going around burning the houses of and lynching and murdering people are getting, they're, they're being tortured. No, no. I, I'm sorry. I'm an empathetic person, but yeah, I have a hard time, it's hard uh, time getting any of those emotions going right now. Uh, to make matters worse, Kirk's second in command, Against the knowledge of Kirk and Holden, arrest the editor of the Raleigh Sentinel, a hugely oh. influential newspaper uh -oh. man, and also a Democrat. So, you know, uh -oh. there's that. Uh, uh -oh. they, they arrest him, and uh, and there's that whole, like, freedom of speech and press thing that's just right out the damn window. Because I mean, guy... we've not given a shit about that for five years. Ten years no, at this yeah, point. The, yeah, ten years by this point, because we didn't give it through the whole damn <laughs> Civil War, so... Yeah, so he gets arrested. That doesn't go over very well. In response to these arrests, the KKK is going to march 30 men into the city of Pittsburgh with the intent on taking the city. Uh, but Kirk moves his forces. 30 dudes? Just 30 dude. Kirk is going to move 300, force, uh, 300 men uh, to, to Pittsburgh, and the Klan is going to pull out and run like <laughs> fucking scared little children. Oh, oh, this is, oh, they're doing oh, they're, stuff now. They're actually, they're, they're there's, uh, retaliating, there's whole, and there's, there's consequences army of them coming at us 10 times what we have uh somewhere around chatham forest the battle is going to ensue but no details are really known uh what we do know is that uh the kkk lost around 16 men and that uh, kirk lost around 12 uh but neither side so, are really okay. fessing up to what exactly happened well because the kkk you know you can't be like well i was there and i was fighting because well, yeah. you just admitted to being a terrorist now, and now you're under arrest sir thank you and and Kirk's men are definitely not going to admit to murder. Just straight up murdering 16 I'm men. I'm sure they did. They absolutely captured and murdered 16 men. Like, that's... I mean, guarantee you. Or yeah, at least, guarantee. like, eight of them, because they had some, some casualties, too. But they're the, yeah, they're uh, the yeah, they absolutely the just... Yeah, the other ones were definitely, definitely murdered. All yeah. right, so the KKK lost 50 per, 55 whatever percent of their forces, and... Uh, 
Walden lost, uh, Kirk lost, what? Like 2%, one? 5%? Yeah, yeah something one, like that. Uh, nothing? Ten, 10 guys? Oh, that's not even. No, that's not even 10%. Okay, so that's How many 10% say you brought? would be 100. You brought 300, and there's like 12 dudes, so that's like 5%. Oh, God. Something like that's that. Nothing. I don't know. Yeah. That's nothing. Anyways, after the shots were fired, the papers began calling this militia action a war, which, I mean, kind of was at this point. Uh, uh, and this is going to draw the cheap. attention. Yeah, this is going to draw the attention of the federal government. <laughs> poor, Wait, hold on. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, poor, poor, poor Ulysses. Excuse me. <laughs> poor Ulysses S. Grant is just sitting there with his bottle of Black Crow whiskey, just trying to get through a day. And he's like, "Can we just have something go on in the South where it's not a fucking shit show every day?" Yeah. So his attorney general, Grant's attorney general, convinces uh, Holden that, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to honor the writ of habeas corpus, and you're gonna actually have to bring these guys into court. What? For for trial, like you can't. Like, you didn't have the legal authority to suspend Hayden's That's a corpus. bummer. You got to actually bring him to court. Uh, Holden says, all right, fine, bring him to court. And every one of them is released. By a jury of their peers, I would imagine. Yeah, well, they get in front of the judge, and the judge dismisses. And the much. judge is like, oh, hey, I'll see you Thursday. Yeah, the, ju- <laughs> the judge is basically like, yeah, I'm... He only indicts a handful of the of the hundred men that are charged, and of those handful, no not a like. single, yeah, not a single one of them actually is found guilty of fucking anything. So no, uh, it's probably just a dude that he just didn't like, and at the you know their weekly KKK meetings that he <laughs> definitely attended. So Holden was one hundred percent right. The justice was never going to happen in North Carolina and any of the counties because uh, KKK kind of owned everything. Yeah. Yeah. After the trials, Holden is going to disband Kirk's militia in September, as it proved to be pointless at this point. Well, I can go around and arrest anybody I want, but they're just going to be released by the local judge, so... Yeah, there's... Yeah, what... Fuck you it. You can't do anything. Except so, for let Kirk go around torturing and murdering them. Yeah. Which, so, at this which, point... Yeah, I mean, maybe that would be the better option. Keep it going! He's the only one getting results. So, after math report, Johnny... Uh, after being released, many of the Wait, arrested... Wait, did it end? How did it end? That, no, that was what? it. The, the KKK won. They got arrested. Uh, Grant said, you got to actually try these people, which is the right thing to do, but he probably should have changed the venue outside of North Carolina. Uh, they got tried, and they were all found innocent and released. And so... Just Holden end of... Disband, yeah, so Holden disbanded the militia and the end of the war. And the so, KKK, they just... Uh, well, the, we'll get there with three. it. KKK just... Okay, all right. What the... We'll f- get there. Aftermath report, John. Let me get to the aftermath report. So, so, uh, so after the release, many of the arrested called for the arrest of Kirk and Holden under f- charges of false imprisonment, which, technically speaking, kind of mm, right. They should have gone because... for war crimes. <laughs> yeah, they... <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, Kirk was actually arrested by a U.S. Marshal of Tennessee under his request. He's like, all right, I'll get... I'll come in... But I want that dude over there in Tennessee to arrest me because I like that guy. That guy knows yeah, me. Bad. I don't want I don't <laughs> want a local jackass arresting me because I know what you're going to do to yeah, me. Yeah, if you guys are going to be tried by your peers, I want to be tried by mine. Seems Since U.S. Marshal does arrest him, he is taken to Raleigh, North Carolina, where he is going to be released on all charges <laughs> being dismissed because they're like, yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> Go leave. And under protection yes. of the U.S. Marshals, he flees the state up to eventually making it up to uh, Washington, D.C., where he will become a Capitol Police officer. So things never change. Good God. It, yes, this better, whole thing. So this whole thing. thing was just, pointless. Yeah, pointless. It was just a bunch of jackasses going around destroying people and property and nothing happened. Because nothing happened. Yep. Nothing. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. No Holden, progress was made. Yeah. Nothing stopped. Nothing. Nobody yep. was accountable for anything. Nope. Uh, Holden is going to face massive political outrage, and the Democrats would take control of the state legislature. And once they take control of the state legislature, he's going to be brought up on charges, eight charges specifically, uh, basically on you know the, the illegal the habeas arrest, corpus stuff. habeas corpus suspensions, yeah. that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, things that he shouldn't mm-hmm. have been able yeah. to do. Uh, he's nope. going to be convicted of six of those eight charges along sure. party line votes. His trial. Yeah. Was yep. full of hearsay and insufficient evidence in the court of law, but this is American politics where evidence means absolutely nothing, and you can be convicted and impeached based on no actual evidence if yeah. the two thirds majority votes that. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you don't have the majority. <laughs> and he did uh, not yeah. have the majority. So he becomes the first governor in U.S. history to be removed from office by impeachment. So wow. out, out he goes. Uh, and uh, ironically, he's going to be pardoned in 2011. You know, obviously post you know post death, he uh, he, and, he didn't get to hear about this. No, he didn't get to hear about oh. it. And during his life, there was talks about pardoning him uh, later on, towards the end of his life. And he had always says, "I don't want to pardon because a pardon assumes that I did something wrong and I didn't do anything wrong and illegal meriting an impeachment." What? Okay, Which so he why? Did. What There's is the course. point of pardoning him in 2011? Purely why? political by the North Carolina, you know, legislature because it was just purely <laughs> pure. It was political. This is a bunch of Democrats that got down and were Useless. like, "We want to, we want to make ourselves look better now." So, uh, pardoned. Now, all of this, all of this is okay. In that, yes, it is completely and totally. I don't pointless. know about that. Well, hold on. <laughs> yes, it is completely and totally pointless. But because of the Kirk Holden War, because of other KKK terrorist actions in the South. <laughs> Grant would actually be able to, in 1871, uh, declare a, a complete and total, like, fucking open season on all KKK members. So a part of the 1871 Civil Rights Act, President Grant is going to suspend habeas corpus and use military authority to go after the KKK in droves. So he has the KKK Act in 1871. So because of the whole Kirk Holden War and because of other things mm-hmm. that were going on in the South with the KKK, yeah. he gets congressional approval to do basically what Holden wanted to do. And right. so, uh, so this made it clear to everybody else in the government that the KKK was an actual terrorist organization and had to be treated as such. Yes. Essentially. So es- essentially that act, what it did is anybody who – attempted to interfere with the Civil Rights Act, which basically granting, you know, brown people the right to vote, you know, in, you know, own land, own property, own yeah, businesses. They're people. If anybody, they if they're people, if anybody was interfering with that, it, it was open season. They could be arrested without charges and held indefinitely. Uh, they were able to be used, the you know, military force was able to be used against them. So this became open season in the Reconstruction era against KKK. And because of this, Grant mm-hmm. completely and totally annihilated the entire KKK organization, at, at least up until Woodrow Wilson brought them all back. Uh-huh. So, yeah. thanks, hey, check Wilson. out our episode on Woodrow Wilson and what a shithead that Being guy a, was. Yeah, that, that would be in our worst people ever episode. So, uh, so yeah, that's the that's the Kirk Holden War, a war where absolutely nothing happened. Like we we everything that we started out as exactly ended the way it was. KKK was running rampant, and the, the authorities had nothing to do. You know, were protecting them or couldn't do anything about it. And that's kind of the way it stayed until Grant got involved. That's it for this week in Historic Hindsight. Thanks for listening. Be sure to subscribe, rate, and review, and join us next week when we talk about hippo meat.